Alright, so in this video we just need to talk about domain and range again, but in particular we're talking about the notation of domain and range, as in um, how do we write that the domain is between a 5 and 7, or how do we write that the range is from 0 to infinity. So there's a few different ways that we can write it, so we just need to um, formalise that a little bit. First thing we can write here is that the domain uh, so the domain is all of the x values, remember. The x value is in the set of real numbers. Basically, that's just saying everything is included. Um, there is no value for x that the domain couldn't be. Um, so if we used an example here, if we've got a quadratic function, it goes on forever and ever and ever that way, and it goes on forever and ever and ever that way, there's no value that x can't be. It can be all of the real numbers. We could also do it in a slightly different way. This one's probably not as nice, uh, but it can work. We can say that the domain is between negative infinity, infinity, which is less than x, which is less than infinity. Basically, we're saying x is between infinity and infinity, negative infinity and infinity. Um, now we have to say less than and we have to say less than because a number can't actually be equal to infinity. So we definitely couldn't put a, a, a less than or equals to sign there. A third way to write this is to use a curly bracket and say that negative infinity comma infinity curly bracket. So three ways to show the domain. X is all of the real numbers. Uh, negative infinity is less than X, which is less than infinity, or just curly bracket, uh, or curved bracket, negative infinity, comma, infinity. That's, this, that's exactly the same as that. They're exactly the same ways, but you can see it written both ways. Um, now let's look at some like, uh, let's use the same example, but let's learn a little more notation here. Now the range in this case is all of the y values. So if this is y equals x squared, we can see all of the y values, it goes up to infinity because it keeps going up and up and up forever and ever and ever, but it never drops below the x-axis. So we can say one way to write this would be to say that 0 is less than or equal to y which is less than infinity. That's one way to write it. Um, now, note my range is zero is less than or equal to because it's touching the, um, the x-axis. It should touch it right there. That's because if x equals zero, y also equals zero. So the range y can be equal to zero. Um, and notice here y is less than infinity because it can't quite get up to that. Uh, now, that bit makes a lot of sense. This next bit, it's pretty arbitrary, but you need to remember it. Another way to write this is to say square bracket 0, comma, infinity, curly bracket. The square bracket means 0 is included. The curly bracket means infinity is not included.